Hi everyone, Wayne Wallace here, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to submit your uh, web page to the search engines using a site index. If you'd like your web pages and posts to be indexed probably a little bit quicker, then this is a good way to do it. Um, I'm going to show you with Bing, and I'm going to show you with Google Webmaster Tools. If you don't have an account set up on either one of those, then you definitely need to do that. I'll be doing more videos later about how to set those up as well. So, uh, let me show you the reason why I'm doing this. I just posted this new uh, post on how to protect your privacy online.com. It's about searching the web anonymously. And I want to get that into the search engines as quick as possible. So, I'm going to go over here to my dashboard view of that website and I'm going to go down here to plugins and I'm going to look at my installed plugins. And the plugin that I use for site maps is called the uh, let's see that one's not activated. Here's the one that's activated. Uh, Google XML sitemaps version 3.4 by Arnie Branchhold. I've tried a few different ones and this is the one that seems to work the best for me. So if you go in here to settings and you'll see here that the last time it was generated was February 26th uh, 2014 and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say rebuild the sitemap right here manually so when I click on this it's rebuilding the sitemap and basically if you don't know what a sitemap is it's uh, basically a text file with links or, or um, yeah with with all the various pages of your website um, that are published and, and findable on the web. And basically it's wrapped up into what they call an XML file and format that Google likes. And you submit that to the, um, the webmaster uh, panels, which I'm going to show you in a second. And that helps you to get ranked quicker. So or it helps the search engine to know about your pages quicker. Uh, they process them whenever they process them. So um, I rebuilt this. It shows here March 2nd. It's been rebuilt. If I want to go look at the contents of that, um, that file, then I can go right here to my, my website and put in sitemap.xml and this is the contents of that file. You can see here that it's got links to all the various pages. It's showing here change frequencies. Um, you know this is basically where I'm telling Google or whatever search engine how quickly it changes. This is a priority ranking. Um, so this plugin allows me to set some of those priorities down here so I can tell the search engine which, um, you know, which things are more priority than others. Uh, it's a pretty good plugin. It's got lots of options here. Um, some of them I went in and changed. I'm not sure exactly which ones, but like here it says notify Google about updates to your blog, uh, notify Bing. I don't really rely on these things, uh, and I'm going to show you what I do. So I'm all done doing that part. I could close that if I want, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go over here to Bing, and if you don't have an account set up on Bing yet, just go to bing.com forward slash webmaster, set up your account there. I actually like the Bing dashboard interface better than the Google interface. It seems to be more... Um, just what I want to know right there on top. And it seems a little bit easier to get things uh, ranked on Bing as well. So here is my sitemap section. 
and here's the XML sitemap. Okay, the last time it was submitted was 226, and URLs are 27. That's how many were submitted, and the last crawl was 226. So I definitely want to update this. So do a uh, submit a sitemap right here, and the URL that I want to use is this one. Okay, that would be my website slash sitemap.xml and I'm going to hit submit. So you can watch these numbers here change. Okay, so last time it was submitted was 3-2, which is today, and it's pending. So if we come back later, we'll see that that's been updated to probably about 20, at least 28 pages, because I just added the blog post and maybe more uh, before today. And then we're going to go over here to Google Webmaster. So if you're not part of this, you go to google.com forward slash webmaster and you set up your account. And I'm going to click on this, which is the website that I want to work with. And you see here it's got 27 URLs submitted. And uh, let's go down into the sitemap section. Where is it? There is sitemap. So see what I mean? The the Bing one is right there on the top front page. This one you got to kind of dig for it a little bit. So here I'm going to add or test a sitemap. And this already has the domain name, so I just has to have to put sitemap.xml in there. And I could test it if I want, but I don't need to test it because I know it's valid. And I'm going to do a submit. And then it says it's been submitted. You can refresh this page. So here these numbers should change. This is 27 right now. Okay, so there's 29 pages that have been submitted. And then let's go back over here to Bing and we'll refresh this page. And this number still hasn't updated, it's pending. So it seems like uh, Bing is a little bit slower at processing that. But that's basically how you uh, go about submitting your sitemap. So I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you like it and subscribe it. And subscribe to the channel. And I'll be making more of these. Thanks for watching.